Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, first things first, I want to say thank you all for 120 subscribers. Um, I'm just glad that I was able to help so many people so far. And yes. Anyways, in today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to create rain in Scratch. So, yep, let's just go ahead and hop into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a sprite and call it rain. Okay, and so once you do that, just kind of create a little costume. I'm going to use the line tool just because it's going to be better for, say, a raindrop. Now, if you want to use the circle tool or just create your own raindrop however you want, that is totally fine and up to you. So if you want to follow my tutorial here and you want to follow like the how to actually make the thing yourself if you don't really know how, uh, just go ahead and hop over to the line tool and where it says outline firstly make sure that the thickness of the outline is set to 15 and then you're gonna click on the outline here and find this third option which kind of fades from up to down or down to up and then go ahead make sure you swap it so that the main color is on the bottom so the blue which will be the actual raindrop is gonna be down at the bottom and so once you do that, just go ahead and click on the white and then go down over here and click the remove or whatever that is. Uh, and it'll pretty much make it kind of go transparent up there. So now I'm going to sort of head over to the middle real quick and just create a line. Obviously, it's not the most realistic raindrop, but it definitely works for what I'm doing right now. Um, so, yes. Okay, so now what you're going to do is say when flag is clicked, and we are going to hide our sprite. So when the flag is clicked, there will be no raindrop. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a ground, just some, say, grass or so. Um, let me cancel the outline up here. Um, so, awesome. I now have grass. Uh, so... I'm going to go back to my rain sprite here, and you can change what's about to go up here, what I'm about to make, and change it to maybe, like, start the raindrop whenever you want it to. I'm just going to do uh, right here, so I'm going to say when space is pressed, so that will start the rain. What we're going to have it do is create a clone of ourself so go into control and all the way at the bottom you're going to do create clone of myself and so what that's going to do is pretty much just clone our sprite here and you'll start to see why in a minute and go ahead and do when i start as a clone and we are going to have it show our sprite so essentially watch this once i press space boom there we have a clone. And so anything that is under this when I start as a clone is only going to happen to the clone. Because as you can see here, our rain sprite is still actually hidden while the clone is actually showing. And so now we're going to have it go to the top somewhere. Um, oh yes, let me go ahead and delete this clone. <laughs> okay, I can't. Uh, how do I do that? Okay, so yeah, you can delete the clones by pressing stop, but okay, real quickly, I'm going to show, and then I'm going to drag it up here. That way we can get an ideal position to start, you know, put the raindrops at. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, when I start as a clone, and we're going to go to our position. And so set the Y position to whatever the highest it can go is. So right now... 192 is where we are at. Let me see if I can... Yeah, okay, so 196 is how high I can go. So I'll do 196, and then I'm going to bring my guy over here. Or not, it's not a guy, it's just, just a range up. And then now we're going to go into operators and find pick random 1 through 10, and put it down here. So pick a starting point pretty much how far to the left you want the raindrops to be able to spawn okay so for me i'm fine with about right here so 
negative 222. So you're going to find how far to the left you can go, and then you're essentially just going to put that positive number over here. So instead of it being negative 100, or negative 222, sorry, uh, it's going to go from there to 222. So as you can see, it's the exact same part, area, just right on the other side. So now my raindrops will only spawn within that region, sort of making it more randomized, as you can see, as you'll be able to see at least. Um, so once it shows, we're going to switch the costume to right here. Actually, we're going to switch it to the costume first. Uh, we will create another costume in a minute. Um, and now we will say something like, uh, let's see, repeat until, and then touching, and we'll give it our ground color. So, and then we will change our Y by however much. So I'm going to say, shoot, 25. Let's see. Okay, that's odd. Where is our, where is our thing at? Let me see. Oh, I, I changed it by 25. I need to change it by negative 25. There we go. Well, it's, it's still not doing anything. Um, who knows? Oh, that's because our rain sprite's already touching it. So we need, I will just say when fog is clicked and we'll have it go up here. Now let's try. Okay, and it's still not working. That is unusual, I would say. Um, okay. Oh, it's because I haven't even pressed space. That's why, silly me. Okay, there we go. It's working. Okay, yes. So if you hold space, obviously it's going to create a bunch. So instead of when space is pressed, we're going to get rid of this. And we will do when flag is clicked, we'll have this. And we will wait until. And then uh, you can find that in control. And then you can go down to sensing. And then find key space pressed. And then you'll go back to control, go to the very bottom, and do delete this. Or no, start, create clone of myself. Uh, so there we go. So let's try that. Boom. There we go. And actually, let's use this repeat and no, nah, I'm going to use forever. You're going to want it to always keep creating clones. You can, of course, you can change this up a bit to create clones for however long you want or whatever. And we're going to actually have it wait a certain amount of time. I'm going to say 0 0.05 seconds. So... So, okay, so, yeah, as you can see, it's now just creating random raindrops everywhere. Um, and if you want it to rain faster, just decrease this amount, say 0 0.01. And, yeah, it should work a little bit faster. Whereas if you say, like, one second or five seconds, it's going to take a lot more time to create a rain raindrop. Uh, so I'm going to do 0 0.025, 0 0.25, sorry. Um, okay, and let's see if it works. Okay, yep, it works pretty good. So, now what we want to do is we want to create our next sprite. So what I'm going, or not sprite, costume. But what I'm going to do is, uh, okay... Oops, I accidentally exited full screen or something weird. Uh, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to duplicate this here and just do this. So it sort of looks like... So it sort of looks like a little splash, kind of. And so we'll say... So down here where it says repeat until touching color, what you're going to want to do is at the very bottom, just have it switched to costume 2. And then go up to control, and you'll do repeat 10. And then go over here, find change color effect by 10. And get this drop down right here and go to ghost effect. And then change that 25 to a 10. 
and then right at the bottom of this here, go back to control, right down at the bottom, and then do delete this clone. And so let's see how this works. Okay, not bad. Okay, so it's really not terrible. Um, obviously, it's not the most realistic raindrops, uh, but it works pretty well for what it's worth. Um, obviously, you know, you can make it look like snow, um, you know, let me see if they have, like, a snowflake sprite or something. Let's see here. Yeah, they do. Um, okay, but it's not loading in. Okay, here it is. So, like, you could say, switch it to snowflake. Oh, wow, that's... A big snowflake um that's not what i wanted it to do but anyways you guys get the point so thank you all for watching i do hope this helped you out a bit um so yes that will be it for today's tutorial if you guys have any suggestions for tutorials that you guys want to want to have on this channel just let me know and i will see y'all later bye Oops, what the heck?